Welcome to this short video on check utility crossings. The check utility crossings tool allows you to create points at all crossings of any pipe in the model, whether it be gravity or pressure. These points can then be displayed in a table to show us the top pipe, the bottom pipe, the top elevation, and the bottom elevation. To demonstrate this, I'm going to come up to the Kobe Toolkit ribbon and I'm going to select Check Utility Crossings. The Check Utility Crossings dialog box comes up. In the middle here, you can select all the different pipe systems in the model that you want to check for pipe crossings. At the bottom, we can add points to a point group and we can also draw crossing verticals. I'm just going to go OK here and it's now created some points. It also has created a point group called Utility Crossings. If I select that point group, if I right click, I'm going to go to Edit Points. The panorama comes up. If I go to the panorama, I can see these points and the description of it is Storm and Sewer, Storm and Sewer, and Storm and Water. If I slide my bar over, we'll see some other information, bottom network, bottom elevation, top network, and top elevation. I'm going to go ahead and get out of the panorama, and I'm now going to create a table. So I'm going to come up to the ribbon, I'm going to go to the Annotate tab, I'm going to go Add Tables, and I'm going to go Add Point Table. I've created a point table in here called Utility Crossing. This is something that you need to do because everybody's table will be different. I'm going to select this icon next to no point group selected and I'm going to select the utility crossing and go OK. And I'm just going to go OK. I'm going to bring in this table and if I zoom in here you can now see it shows me the name of the top network, the bottom network, the top elevation, and the bottom elevation. This concludes this short video on check utility crossings. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.